Welcome, I'm Phil Long, an HTC Desire 20 Plus, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification on this device. So, as you can see, the phone right here is locked, and I could unlock it either using the uh, previous Google account, or if I go back uh, using the uh, pattern that was previously set. But, assuming we don't know any of those, uh, what we want to do is to get started, um, progress to the setup till you get to the Wi-Fi connection and simply connect to your Wi-Fi. And from there, go back, back to the welcome screen and change the language to basically any language uh, below that uses a different keyboard. So for this, I'm just going to be using Greek right over here. And again, we're going to progress through the setup back to the verification screen. So if you don't know what to press right now, because as an example, it's in a completely different language that you might not speak, uh, then just simply press on everything that I do. And as you just seen, uh, I did press right here to not copy anything. And then right here to use Google account. And this will, there we go, bring us to the Google verification. So let's step on a field. This will bring up a keyboard and you should see a little globe icon next to the space. When you hold it, this will bring up the language settings or keyboard settings. So number one, I'm going to change it back to QWERTY. So you can see that it changed the keyboard right here. And hold it again and go to language settings, which is this text below. From here, uh, at the bottom, we have add keyboard. So tap on it and select any keyboard from the list that does not have an arrow. So you can see there's three with an arrow. Uh, skip those and choose anything else. So I'm going to go with the first one. And here, I'm going to tap on add, which is again the blue button. Once you have added the keyboard, go back to the first page change the language back to your desired language, which for me is going to be English. And we're now progressing back to the same place we just were. So again, hold the globe icon, language settings, add a keyboard, and this time around, you're looking for a option with an arrow. So as you can see, Albanian is the first one that I can find right here. That's what I'm going to select. And from here, tap on the three dots and go to help and feedback. And in help and feedback, tap on the describe your issue field right here and type in two simple, simple letters, M, O. And this will bring up uh, use Morse code uh, as a suggested option. You can see it with this little icon right here. Tap on it, tap on a video. Once it loads up, you can see that there is now a 3D option on the video. Once you tap on it, on the, the, vid the dots, not the video, you wanna choose watch later. And this in turn will open up your web browser. So from here, accept and continue, no thanks. And right at the top, you wanna tap over there and type in hard reset that info. Like so. Now, if you need a moment to write it down, pause the video. Once you load up the website, let's just tap consent. You want to tap on the three bars right over here and go to download. And in the download search bar, type in Android 7.1.2. Now this might seem like it's outdated, but once you press search, you will find that this also works for Android 10. So from here, uh, as you can see, uh, this is the only option that you will find right here, the uh, FRP bypass Android 712 slash 10. So click on download, scroll down, click on download once more. Okay. And this will begin the download. So we can tap on details to view it. And there we go. So from here, click on the, the file that we have downloaded, go to settings and check allow from this source. So we can actually allow uh, apps downloaded from Chrome. Go back and choose install. Now, once it's done installing, click on done, go back uh, to your Chrome right at the top. Uh, tap on a field and now type in hard reset that info slash bypass.
like so. Again, if you need a moment, pause the video. And from here, you want to scroll down and you will see a settings app. So simply tap on it. This will open up the settings on your device. And from here, we're going to go to apps and notifications, uh, see all 37, three dots and show system. And from here, I'm going to scroll down, down to G. We're looking specifically for Google Play services and Play Store. So these two apps right at the bottom. So click on it, choose disable, disable app, go back, Play Store, disable, disable app. As you can see, both of them are now disabled, which you can see right here and here. So once you have disabled those two apps, what we want to do now is go back once more. Now we go to the main settings page, scroll down and choose accounts. And in here, select add account, choose Google. Uh, now this will launch the app that we have downloaded, which also it will uh, give us a notification that it crashed, which is okay. There we go. Bypass.net stopped working. Cool. We don't care because it already did what it needed to do, which is allow us to log into Google. Uh, without this app, uh, Google would not have been an option visible in the accounts. So in here, all you need to do is log in with a Google account. Now, one thing that I'll mention, we do have an option to create an account right here, although I have never tested it. So I, if you want to create an account just for this, probably do it on your computer instead um, and then use it to log in here. Or you can also use an existing account uh, that you have, assuming you have one, which I do. So that's what I'm going to be using. So now I'm going to put in a password. So obviously I'm going to do that off the screen. And there we go. So as you can see, I did log in. Just going to tap on agree. Okay. And there we go. As you can see, we have added the Google account. So we're going to go back to apps and notifications right now. Then again, CL37. And all we need to do is re-enable the apps that we have disabled. And there we go. So again, let's start with Google Play services, enable, go back, disregard this pop-up and it's regarding the app that we've downloaded. It's already served this purpose. Now this will keep popping up, but really it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's go back now to the Play Store, enable that as well. So you can see both of them are now enabled. Once they are, hold power key, select restart, and let's wait for the device to boot back up. Okay, so as you can see, we're now back in the setup. So let's again go through it. Now you should see one difference right now once, well, apart from this one, the app keep crashing. So once you tap don't copy uh, and pop up comes up again. Uh, this is the difference that I was talking about. Uh, account added uh, provides us with the info of the account that we have logged in with. So this is previously the screen that it would force us to verify either the pattern or previous Google account. And now it's just kind of opt and doodle uh, gives us an info account added. You can progress further. So let's do just that and finish up the setup. Now, at this moment, you want to skip as much of the setup as you can. It really doesn't matter what you do at this moment because the device is actually still locked. So I'm going to try to finish it up as quick as I can. So once you're on the home screen on your phone, go to the settings. From here, scroll all the way down to system, advanced, reset options, erase all data, factory reset, erase all data, and once more erase all data. And what this will do is well, perform a factory reset of the device. Um, but what it also will do, which wasn't really specified there, is remove the Google account that was previously set on this device, the one that was blocking us, along with the protection that was also set. Uh, and we'll completely just get rid of them. So once the factory reset is complete, the device will be fully unlocked. And from there, you can 
log into your Google account, um, skip connecting to Wi-Fi if you want to, do basically whatever you would do with a brand new device. So I'm gonna let this run and come back once the reset has basically finished. Okay, so now that the factory reset has finished, let's go through the setup once more. Now this time around, like I mentioned before, the device is fully unlocked, so you can set it up as however you like. Now I'm gonna go through it again as quick as I can, uh, skipping basically everything that I can, but I'll point out a couple uh, things that shouldn't be possible. So number one would be the uh, ability for you to skip Wi-Fi connection. That is never an option if the device is locked, but because it's not, I can just kind of skip it. And from here, just skip everything else. And there we go, we're on the home screen. So as you can see, there was no need to verify anything and by now the device is fully unlocked. So if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.